in the 19th century, you would have an animal, uh, like a horse, and then you would tie a bandwagon to it, and the musicians would get on, and they would ferry these artists from one county to another to play. Fast forward to today, I feel that we are an online take on an old word, where basically we house all this information about musicians online, and we are essentially helping to carry them digitally so that people can discover more about them, uh, more about their updates, more about their music. I'm Clarence, the founder of Bandwagon. Our vision is to champion and spotlight music in Asia, and this is my SME story. I grew up really loving live music and being really enthralled by it. Uh, there was something about it that for me was really magical. My parents believe a lot in exposing us to the arts as well. I was fortunate when I was young, my parents brought me to concerts like I remember I was, I was five when I caught Michael Jackson at the National Stadium. But it was not until I was in university where an idea formed. At the time, people were starting to rely on the internet more and more for what to do. I felt that we should have a site that provides dependable, extensive and informative information about live music. I remember I was preparing my business plan after I graduated from uni. I met this famous technopreneur, Mr. Ong Ping Sin, and he gave me some words of advice. He said, if you want to do something on the internet, you need to learn to code. It's like speaking a language. And I spent two months in my bedroom downloading ebooks about coding and I just learned how to code and uh, building a simple one-page website and you know one thing led to another promoters started saying hey why don't you come and cover our show and that was how we went into uh, the media business today bandwagon has diversified into other areas as well we've gone into events into concerts for any media business to flourish you need scale so we always had that challenge how do we survive and how do we keep growing. One of the things we had to do was to focus on our advertising business. It was something that the decision makers, people with the money here, uh, could understand. So we started building our business on these kinds of less sexy fundamentals, but at the same time it managed to help us sustain. After doing the business for about two years, I saw that around Singapore we've got very interesting markets that were also in the developing stages, places like Indonesia, places like Philippines, Malaysia. So the most natural thing that came to my mind was getting into these markets somehow. I looked for events which had the most number of music lovers and I literally booked a ticket for myself to all these festivals and just flew up on my own. So I'd go into some of these media tents or some of these sponsor tents and I'd just you know, talk to them and explain what I'm trying to do. And you know, it came a time when we were looking to get into those markets where I triggered some of these contacts and we started working with them. I personally love jazz. There's always ways to reinterpret a standard piece in a new way. And I think that relates a lot to life and in business because you understand the rules, you learn the stakeholders that you need to work with, you know the kind of content that you want to play in, yet at the same time you are familiar with it enough to be able to improvise and create new value that excites the audience. So I see us kind of like a jazz band and we want to be that differentiator in our music industry. One of the highlights of my entrepreneurial journey was working with the Singapore government on a national movement to promote Singapore music. I think that's always been on our heartbeat and we've been doing that on our own accord. But to also know that our interests are aligned in doing so was something that was pretty special. We want to create a must-hit event eventually for Singapore that people know as well as you know, like your Singapore Grand Prix. We want people to have that kind of a recollection of something that Bandwagon organised that every year they can look forward to that's music related. So that's really our, our goal going forward.